What's going on YouTube? It's Mr. Ferguson here once again. Thank you guys for coming back for another video here in Central North Carolina where we have removed the lawn striper and we have done a mow. Uh, it's actually last night for me. It's been several days for you. I'm probably getting ready to mow again by the time this video releases on Monday. But uh, we've uh, we've taken off the lawn striper. I did a another mow. The grass color is looking great, but we're trying to deal with fungus in the lawn. And as you see behind me, we've got a barricade protecting Miss Ferguson plants and stuff like that behind me so we're trying to protect against the deer thank you guys for commenting on um, the Wednesday video that we talked about fungus in the lawn and where we talked about um, fungus in the lawn and the deer problem we got I found a sweet possible solution on Amazon but I'm not gonna mention it until maybe if we go through purchasing that uh, that option so I'll let you know but thank you so much for that hope you enjoyed the video Friday talking about uh, the uh, fusillet 2 and talking about our project lawn we're gonna be getting more into that as uh, the weeks go on so, so stay subscribed stay tuned hit the bell to be notified when I release videos and hopefully if you're doing a brand new lawn renovation or planting grass for the first time you can do it along with me so let's jump into it today guys uh, going back to what we talked about on Wednesday I want to talk about um, what I need what I'm gonna be doing uh, possibly today to try to cure some of this some of you mentioned it you were on the same mind frame as what I was I'm actually filming this the day after I recorded that video because uh, we've got inventory coming up at my work and I'm not gonna be able to do have a lot of time extra for videos so I'm doing this a little bit ahead of time but you're seeing it on Monday but I'm gonna put you on the tripod want to show you what just arrived from GCI turf one of my favorite places ever as you know and so uh, let's get into the video and talk a little bit more about this fungus issue that we have all right guys again real fast thank you so much for tuning into this video give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it remember to subscribe uh we're going to be brief that's why we're filming today in 4k so if you got 4k capabilities on your tv or your monitor enjoy that higher quality so i want to introduce you to a new product that uh when i discovered this i started doing my research started looking at um gci turf and stuff and looking at what he's got under the uh, disease issues and i just want to mention that's why if you guys are like why mr ferguson is just a gci fanboy he just loves it so much he just always i want to be clear that gci turf is a great company because it's located right near two hours away from me and so i have the privilege and honor of being able to lean upon information from a true professional like pete denny that not only is smart and wise and has over 20 years of lawn care experience but he has his own company so his stuff gets to me super fast i can go to his uh videos and listen and what he is saying for his weather and conditions applies to me because i'm only two hours away it may not be the same for everybody else so everything that I tell you guys may not apply or be applicable to you up in you know Washington or New Jersey or way down in Texas or Arizona like my condition and my location is different and that's why I challenge you I I'd love to have you guys on the channel glad that you're subscribed but also find somebody locally that knows what they're talking about so that what they're describing they're seeing in their lawn would apply to you as well and do kind of the same thing that I'm doing so I just want to make that clear so one of the things that I saw um, from Pete a long time ago and thought, huh, that's something interesting, I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger on, and that is a new fungicide called Armada. It's called Armada, there you go. Um, I don't have, it's a, it's a pelletized, almost like predamine type um, two pound jug. They also send you this nifty little cup it goes up to 12 ounces um, so I can tell you that I've got some screenshots in my pocket here that I'm gonna lean on but I wanted to show it to you and as I mentioned in that last Wednesday video I think it's time we need to switch up some things with my fungicide um, applications and treatments in my lawn I've been using propiconazole I've been using azoxystrobin for uh, several years now and just like taking the same pain medication when you get a headache your body gets adjusted to that it, it, it you got to use higher and higher higher dose dosage as you go on whereas if you use a new product it may be more effective at a lower dose so that's that's why mr ferguson has went to another fungicide as you guys have seen like i said in the last video for the last three months we've been applying three applications already of, of, of uh uh, propraconazole and azoxystrobin and I'm still seeing disease in my lawn I believe I either need to increase my dosage of those products or my lawn is really getting used to it I also 
have in my shed from like last year, year before, some 336, which a lot of people had recommended. But I also took the time, don't water in, and on the back I wrote some things here, and I, for dollar spot, four ounces. Um, for brown patch, four to six ounces per thousand is what I wrote this in. Gray leaf spot, four to six ounces. That is, that is a ton of fungicide, where our motto we're gonna talk about is like 0.6 per thousand. This is four ounces at minimum per thousand. That's probably why I only have a little bit of it left. So I may add this in with Armada when I do my curative application here to try to rid myself of this fungus. But I want to go back to Armada for a second. And though I'm not going to hold it up, I just want to read this to you real fast of why I chose that. Uh, to go with. Number one, uh, I've seen Pete use it. He's used it in North Carolina. He added it to, I think, his propiconazole or his oxystrobin and said it helped him. Uh, but just going off of, um, and I may put it here to the side. Let me stand on one of the sides here so I can put it on the opposite. The active ingredient, something I probably can't uh, pronounce, triademophon, that word, you see it right here, and trifloxystrobin. 8.33% and 41 of the triad. I'm going to call it triad because I live in the triad in North Carolina. Uh, but you see the target pests here, dollar spot, brown patch, leaf spot, um, and truck nose, summer patch, gray leaf spot, and on and on and on. And what else is in there that I know? Uh, downy, mildew, uh, take all patch. There's tons of stuff here. When I see all that, especially dollar spot, brown patch, leaf spot, gray leaf spot, those are things we see a lot here in North Carolina. And so those are things that I can relate to. And if we go down, you see application right here, 0.6 to 1.5 ounces per thousand square feet. That is less than half of what the 336 or McCleary's 3336 uh, requires, four to six ounces per thousand. That's very high. Uh, the next thing, I just wanted to quickly read you the product overview, which I'll slide right here. Armada 50 WDG is a professional fungicide that controls certain foliar, stem, and root diseases of, fun of turf grass, residential, commercial lawns, sod farms, sports parks, uh, sports fields, parks. Armada is labeled to control dollar spot, brown patch, leaf spot, uh, and throck nose again, summer patch, uh, gray, gray leaf spot, and rapid blight, red thread, uh, blah, 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 mildew, leaf spot, blah, 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 take all, blah, 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 and more. See label for complete mix and use instructions. Most applications require 0.6 to 1.5 ounces of Armada WDG per thousand square feet. And then lastly, um, I'll just put this over here um, just to show you, it does break down each disease and what you should apply for it. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're trying something different. It is uh, This Armada was expensive. It was $148 on GCI's website. So I'm going to link it below if you're interested, but it covers so many different things um, that I felt it was necessary to try something different and to invest in it. It's two pounds, but we're only using 0.6 per thousand square feet. So you're talking about, you know, what, 4.5, um, 4.5 to five ounces per tank. Um, so to cover uh, all my lawn, so uh, ounces compared to a two pound jug. So it should last me for a good while. In addition to the 3336, which we have left over, I'm just gonna dump that in there and use that as well to try to, um, to throw down on the lawn as well. In addition to that, I'm either going to add this in or do it separately, but I just wanted to tell you the GCI 505. I want to add a little bit of nitrogen to get a little bit of growth going. We're still cool. We're not in the 90s. We're in the very low 80s, if anything. This is the new formula. The last, uh, all the 505 that I've been applying to my lawn has been the old formula. We've already taken off the lawn striper. I did that the, the, before this mow ever even happened. I took off the lawn striper. I felt like that needs to quit laying the grass down to trap moisture uh, between the ground and the grass. And one more thing, well, almost 100% do uh, separate, and that's the Lawn Supply Company's 0026 uh, Fight or Fight Or, Fight O-R-R or Fighter, however you want to pronounce it. But this is supposed to help uh, with stress, with fungus, with uh, heat stress, things of that nature. So applying this also, the 0026 should also help. And all of this, um, I don't believe you want to water in. I'm going to have to go back and read this label uh, of this of this stuff to figure that out. 
but these are the products i'm going to mix up here in a little bit uh, again i'm doing this video early to get it out to you at a later date so that i have a video for monday but this is important i want to see you know i haven't applied anything in probably two weeks as far as fungicide um and and so i'm seeing as you guys saw back here in this tree area and again um it seems like it's gotten a little more dingy and the color has gotten a little worse since I got back from Wilmington. We've had lots of nonstop rain for four days, drizzle, mist. It's just been nasty. So I'm going to mix the 3336. I'm going to mix a little bit of 505, which is like five ounces per thousand. So we're not doing a massive uh, nitrogen application, but we're going to do a little bit of the 505. We're going to mix in the two fungicides, Armada and the 3336. I'm not going to do any propiconazole and I'm gonna, not going to do any azoxystrobin. Uh, instead of ordering more azoxystrobin, I've ordered the Armada. That was my compromise. Remember, you can use Scott's Disease X as an alternative to buy an azoxystrobin. So the one negative thing I did see um, on domyown.com, which I'll link both domyown.com and GCI, you can compare. I think they're roughly the same price, but um, they do give you this awesome cup. But there were people were complaining that it comes in a pelletized form, not a liquid, and that kind of fooled them. So you actually got to uh, mix it in your tank, which I don't think that's a big deal. Just know that if you purchase it, but it covers, um, um, it's a group three and group 11 fungicide that covers many of the things that I face with fescue grass, dollar spot, all the things we've already went over. So I just wanted to bring that to you today. I'm not gonna go about showing you how to mix it, showing you how to spray. We did that on uh, this past, uh, what, Friday's video, showing you the fusillade to me walking with it, and all that good stuff so we'll save that for another day but i just want to let you know this is what i'm going to be applying to my lawn today in hopes to cure this i don't want it to get any worse i don't want any grass to die off i'm trying not to overseed that's why mr ferguson you're overreacting you shouldn't just just chill out it'll fix itself well that's true but i don't want to wait so long where i start to see patches of grass die off and then it puts me in a position of considering having to overseed in the fall so that's big time goal why i'm considering this and why you should as well i don't want to let fungus linger when i see this back here uh start to spread and spread and get worse i know that number one we need to bag i know that the lawn striper can be a problem but we also need to uh apply this and then get a little bit of nitrogen in there to let it grow out as well so that's why we're doing what we're doing that's why i'm mixing the mix that i'm mixing today to apply to my lawn so let me know your thoughts below i know many of you i thank you for commenting on the last several videos hope that you've enjoyed this let me know if this sounds like a plan to you what are you applying what are you trying are you testing something new you're putting down the same old remedy that you've been using because it works let me know what your comments are below and i thank you so much for tuning in to this monday video while you're watching this i'm doing good old inventory at work so give me a prayer throw a prayer my way today god bless you guys we'll see you in the next video take it easy